<laughs> no, no, no. One of the few times that I regret choosing a movie for this. What is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and this is my 31 Days of Horror movie reviews. And because I watched the original Suspiria, I decided to watch the remake. Suspiria, the remake, is a 2018 film that was directed by Luca Guadagnino, if that's how you say it the fucker's name and I'm not even somebody who grew up with the original Suspiria I mean it came out over 10 years before I was born but I just watched it right so it's not like I have this huge attachment to that original movie that I'm somebody that is yelling blasphemy that they even remade the fucking thing in the first place I don't care so this isn't coming from a place like that. I watched this remake and I could not believe that first of all, two and a half hours. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? The original movie was an hour and a half. There's no reason why a remake should say, let's pack on another hour. At least if they had done that, if they had packed on an hour, you could say, oh, well, they wanted to dive deeper into the mythology, into the lore. They wanted to create some new mythos that was not prevalent in the original film. No, no, it's just a whole lot more meandering, a whole lot more overly long scenes that don't need to be as long as they are. Let's talk a little bit about this movie, shall we? Dakota Johnson plays Susie, who, same name as the main character from the first film, same situation as well, where she shows up on a rainy day at this ballerina ballroom type studio, and you see that she's sort of outshining everybody. And that's one thing that I thought, okay, here's something they maybe didn't do in the original film, where this time Susie is a badass. This time Susie is more talented than everybody else. And that's why she gets sought after. That's why she stands out maybe to the witches. And and Dakota Johnson, she's fine in this film. There's a lot of scenes where I was trying to figure out where exactly she was coming from, from her point of view, why she didn't feel as freaked out over things that were happening around her. Of course, by the end of it, it makes sense. So I can't really say whether or not Dakota Johnson like gave this great performance. It's just whatever. You know, it's just kind of, she's there to be there. Chloe Grace Moretz has a small part at the beginning of the movie, and then that's it. I was expecting maybe... Something where they do more with that. But no, no, it was just a recognizable face early on. Mia Goth plays Sarah, who is Susie's roommate. And I really like Mia Goth. I mean, I've just recently, over the last year or so, have become informed of who Mia Goth is and all these other horror movies that she had been in. So when I saw her pop up here, I said, oh, cool. I really like this actress and there's a part of me that wishes that maybe she was the main character because i just think in general she has a certain type of energy a certain level of enthusiasm that i see her constantly have even playing different parts i just i like her a lot and i don't feel like they fully uh, appreciated what she could have brought here she's a side character who has a couple scenes and then they don't do much with her tilda swinton plays the head uh, bitch or <laughs> lady behind the ballroom. And so I'm watching Tilda Swinton, and this is what the movie wants you to think. You're going to sit here and watch her, and you know that she's behind it all. At least that's what you think. So you're just watching her be cold, watching her stare at certain characters in a weird way, and so it's supposed to be creepy. I, another character, another actress that I don't think they fully utilized her talents. You know, she, it's just, it's a complete waste. 
especially when you get to the end. There is one scene probably like halfway through where one of the girls gets upset. She sort of gets shunned away, kicked out of the class and she goes to leave. And then she winds up in this room and she just gets her bones completely tore apart. Like as Dakota Johnson is in the other room with the other people dancing, it's coinciding with this girl having her limbs like on her own, by themselves, like she can't even control herself in her movements. It's almost mimicking what Dakota Johnson is doing over there. And it's really gross and it's really hard to watch. Maybe that actress is like a contortionist. And so it looked real, but it almost looked too real and too gross. And just, I didn't need for that. And I didn't need for how long that played itself out. It's just, you're sitting there for 10, 15 minutes watching this poor girl be <laughs> bent all over the place. There's a lot of scenes, especially near the end of a bunch of gross, fat, naked people that I could have gone the rest of my life without seeing. So there's that. And two and a half hours. During the middle of the movie, I wanted to stop. I wanted to say, okay, I think I get the point. Don't really care. We're just sort of at a snail's pace, struggling along, trying to get from one scene to the next. I'm bored out of my fucking mind. But I'm glad I did finish it because the twist ending of this film... Spoiler alert! So you come to find out by the end of the movie that Tilda Swinton's character is not the witch. What? No. She's not the one that's behind the whole thing. It's not like the original movie. No, no. Susie, Dakota Johnson's character, is the witch. She's the head mother witch. And she came to this place to seek out her next victims and to basically kill everybody and take over. Now, I don't mind them switching stuff up because, sure, you're going to do a remake. Give me something different. Give me something that you can sink your teeth into and say, oh, wow, I didn't see that coming. And it works. But you're just doing this twist just to do it. I really don't know how much it makes sense to just have it be like, oh, well, it's her. <laughs> it's Dakota Johnson, which explains why she was so uninteresting for the majority of the film. But it's another situation where they did it to do it, and they didn't dive into it. They didn't go into it. They didn't give me any more lore. Like like I said, two and a half hours, and I don't feel like I got anything extra from this movie that the original movie didn't already do. The original movie may be more straightforward. Maybe I'm just okay taking a fairly straightforward type story. But also, when you compare it to the original, I can't help but do that. The directing in the remake is so bland, so uninspired, so uninteresting. That also made it be boring. It's not colorful like the original movie. The cinematography is not as good as it was in the original film. Everything about the original film, even though I didn't love it, was done better. <laughs> And this remake is almost making me appreciate that original movie way more now because, oh boy, this remake was a tough watch. I did not like watching this remake. I did not have a good time. I was bored out of my fucking mind and, and just bored to tears. I couldn't wait for this to be over. God damn. What a waste of time. So, guys... Let me know in the comments below if you too had seen Suspiria. What do you think of it? The remake, of course. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Also, oh, what a rush. Sniff some more blow. Let the bitch bleed, then I'm making a porno. I'ma keep it going a few times or I'll pass out. Wake up